hello guys welcome back to my channel dp design and in this video we are going to learn how to perform a simulation of a double wishbone suspension system so let's get started so first we have to create one 3d model which is having assembly like this this is our upper wishbone and you have to make a proper constraint over here so that in the simulation you don't have you don't have to uh, worry about much errors so first you have to proper assemble it like we, this is our upright we have done and this is our lower wishbone and this is our suspension strut it it is mounting so before we getting into the simulation which kind of simulation we are performing for this uh, kind of uh, analysis so we will use a static simulation for this just because there is no uh, direct contact in the geometry or a large def deformation is there so if the large deformation is there we will use that uh, different solver if we get any error of that right so let's get started with the static simulation what kind of boundary condition we have given for this uh, this kind of simulation to be done so we have assigned different types of material that is a uh, cast carbon steel we have applied uh, over uh, over this uh, assembly for now this is just for the uh, like what boundary condition you have to give so on that only we are focusing right now not much parameters have been included in the simulation for now so if you want to simulate like what are what are the stress values we are getting in the up, uh, upper and lower wish bonds? What are the stress values in a hub or you can say upright, whatever you want. So first we have to constrain this assembly for uh, getting into the simulation. So we use connections. You also you can uh, go through this upper uh, window which is having the same parameters over here. So we, you can add a connector from this. If you want to add a pin yeah so this hole and this hole having the pin you have to add a pin between the strut and this mount so what we have done in the first we have selected this three faces to add one pin so that it, it can constrain over here just like a bolt right we have considered it as a rigid if you want to add a stiffness values you can add the rotational axial stiffness if you have the values also you can select the connection type it is distributed or a rigid we will take it as a rigid for now so yeah we will click ok then what will be our second pin our second pin will be this so if you edit this we have the lower bish one and up uh, we have upright connection over there so we have selected this faces as a rigid connection through the our connector so this is okay and our third pin is our upper wishbone and the upright so this is our upper wishbone and this is our upright where we have selected a three faces uh, throughout the pin connector how to add a pin so you can go to the direct connectors and select the pin and select this uh, whatever faces you want to select so this will be a pin our fourth pin will be this this one here you, here you can see the inner uh, strut this one so that is also the digit for the uh, for the motion now it is a uh, main factor we are adding uh, for now in the simulation to getting the accurate result that is our spring so you can also add the damping coefficient uh, in the damper damper type of uh, connection so what we have done we have selected the spring in the two faces that is the first one is this and second one is this face between two faces we have added one spring which is having a 60 pound per inch having the stiffness values so it is mandatory to knowing the stiffness of your spring without stiffness you cannot uh, add the spring so also if you have a preloaded spring it is in a preload condition so also you can uh, apply the tension or compression preload of forces over here if you have the data this data you can get from manufacturer as well uh, who are uh, manufacturing this uh, spring for you 
and also you can customize uh, your strings by the calculations that we already uh, shared one excel sheet over our instagram account so you can go through now we are closing this also we have a bonded contact for the whole assembly this is a global interaction is there between those components and there is no gap range for bonding for now so we have zero percentage of uh, gap is there in the advanced uh, we have uh, checked the enforce common nodes between the touching boundaries uh, that is surface to surface connection in this uh, this is uh, good for uh, calculate calculating node to surface is not too much accurate while you have you have the coarse meshing if you have fine mesh then you can go for a node to surface uh, type of uh, boundaries so yeah we have the component retraction that is a global type and now we have to constrain two faces which is fixed or a hinge type connection so what you can do you can go to the fixture and also restraint so we have selected this one restraint which is applied as a hinge which faces this one this two this three this four and this five right so these five faces the cylindrical faces are constrained as a hinge as you can see how to do that you you can just directly go to the fixtures or you can select the uh, fix hinge and now you can select whatever you want to select as a hinge also you can go through this uh, fixture advisor and go to fix hinge and you can select whatever you want as a hinge so that is done your boundary condition is almost done now you have to apply the forces if you know the forces which is directly applying on the your upright or a knuckle we have shared one suspension uh, suspension sheet which is which will help you to know how much forces that are happening on the uh, knuckle through the dynamic condition and also static condition so you can calculate by yourself and apply on the upright so that you can know the values and apply this value over here and getting your accurate results for the further study so we have applied one uh, this uh, we have applied two forces right now so whatever forces you will, you will select that will denote it over here so we have selected the cylindrical faces which is directly connected to over the clip so yeah i will check this okay and you can click it a reverse direction or this reverse direction right so one 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 newton is on this side and around 900 newton is on this side so we have checked the both of forces and if you have a third then you can select the third one and apply the whatever forces value you have and you have to select one like uh, direction uh, for the directional uh, direction forces so you have to select one reference plane for that and also the face face you are applying so you have to uh, select this face and also if you want to consider this face as a bearing so also you can select that as well so you are almost done with the boundary condition now in the pre-processing stage we have one important uh, parameter that is our meshing so wherever you you are uh, getting the high stress value or you can assume that that uh, these are my location where the high stress can come or can occur right so what you can do you can apply the mesh controls over there so what i will do i have applied the three control methods over this uh, fillet so it can uh, it can get the more accurate results uh, for the stress and displacement so what i have done i have applied the control like 0.3 inch over here and this fillets are 0.3 inch and also uh, this one okay my matching is fine and also my ratio is 1.5 that is good below 5 it, it is also good uh, for the matching good matching yeah my third control is this one 
these are faces are constrained by uh, having the 0.3 it is the same uh, mesh control it is having so also you can go through the quality of mesh what is this so you can see uh, this fillet area is my is having the finer mesh over over the uh, this part and this geometry also having the finer mesh wherever i applied the mesh control for that so you can reduce uh, reduce whatever whatever capabilities your uh, computer have so you can uh, reduce more and apply the fine mesh for the better results so this basic connections or a boundary condition you can say you have to apply for this kind of simulation so this is our uh, pre-processing uh, is done now now we are moving on the post-processing where we simulate our result and see whatever is happening so you, as you can see my higher stress values are this location and also you can select the your yield point that is 2.4 into 10 raise to 8 newton per meter square so you can see and you can click yeah and you can go to the yield strength maximum okay so these are my high level stress area so i need to improve or i have to reinforce it for a better durability so also you can uh, improve this design from this region so this region is crossing my yield limit for this kind of forces and spring stiffness so you can try with uh, many iteration you can create your own design study you can create your own particular study over this also you can go to the displacement what is the displacement is happening uh, due to forces and also you can i will hide this for for now i will hide this restraint for yeah how i will animate this as you can see how it is animating uh, if you increase the stiffness of your spring then it will have the higher stress and less displacement but make sure you choose the uh, correct spring for your uh, function so this was the basic ideation of how the simulation can be done on double wish point suspension system or which boundary condition you have to give so this was just a basic uh, brief for the simulation we will make more videos in detail with uh, forces calculation and uh, travel calculation and more parameters will be add on in next future videos till then uh, thank you so much for support and keep sharing keep sharing and keep loving and make sure you subscribe the video and like the video as well so see you next time. Thank you.